Welcome to To Enable Help. This video is going to show you how our mobile applications connect to and use a To Enable digital library. So this is the Windows version of, of the To Enable uh, mobile application. There's a similar one for Apple. There's an iOS version. There's an Android version, and there's a mobile phone, uh, Windows mobile phone version, and they look slightly different, but the functionality is identical. So the, one of the important things to understand immediately is this icon in the top right hand corner and the green circle is telling us we are connected to a to enable digital library and the red dot saying we are connected to the internet. So anything red uses data and anything green does not use data. It, it is accessing content over a Wi-Fi network. So the reason we have a green is at this level we have connected to a to enable hub and um, it's referred to as to enable hub x because it's a secured network but um, if i were to connect to an, a different network i would be unlikely that i would have this green connection uh, the green circle so i'm connected to a to enable library and i have the green circle so what this means and we'll pick mathematics to illustrate it if i go to mathematics grade 10 algebraic expressions and the first thing you'll notice in this space is I've not had a login I've immediately got access to all the content that is here and if I go to the textbook I can download the textbook on using that icon so it's going to ask me do you, I wish to download one file and I say yes I do and it's downloading the textbook via Wi-Fi and that was fairly quick from the to enable digital library to my computer so it has not used any data so if I open it, it's saying display and displays in green. And again, it's saying it's not using data. It's giving me an option to delete it. And the delete is asking if I want to delete it off this computer that I am actually using um, to record this presentation. So if I display it, this is a Sia Vula textbook. It's 535 pages long. And you saw it took two seconds to download it, a 500 page textbook from the digital library to the computer. What I can do is if I was studying mathematics grade 10, these are all the weeks of the year, I could in fact download the whole week. So these would be eight files that's downloading. And um, these are videos and the bigger the video, the longer it takes to download. Obviously the download speed is a function of the size of the file. And it's also a function of how many people are trying to download at the same time. So I'm working off this digital library on my own so it is very responsive. The other way to speed this up would be to build a bigger computer. I'm using the Intel Content Access Point, that the small introduction device, but if I had it on a, on a higher specification computer it would be able to deliver that information to me even quicker. So now to explain, to show you uh, what this means, if I click on the icon and this applies in the Microsoft and the Apple application it brings up a menu on the Android application I've literally got to swipe my finger from the left to the right and it'll bring the menu up okay but this is Windows so clicking on the icon and I can go to hub settings and here it's saying it's checking to see if there's a digital library around and it's checking to see if there's access to the internet so if I switch off access to both the internet and to the digital library and I save it it's saying I'm not connected, do I want to continue? Yes, I do. It's giving me a red circle to say I'm offline. So what does this mean now? Basically, this would be a state as if I was at home without internet. And if I were to pick a different week, you can see I'm unable to access any of the content. So it's, if I try to, it says I must connect to the internet or I must connect to a library. But if I go back to the week that I downloaded, you can see all the resources are here. So if I click on it... If I click on a video, the video is on my device. It's green again, I'm not using data. And um, I'm completely offline and I'm still able to access all the files that I have downloaded. What you will also notice is I'm not able to access the internet. Okay, because I'm disconnected from the internet so I cannot take an assessment. If I go back and I switch just the internet on, so I'm going to switch, I'm going to say to the application, it must now please try and connect to the um, was trying to connect as if it was just connected to the internet and you'll notice it's just a red dot here so I'm no longer connected to a hub if I go to mathematics and I go grade 10 and I pick a week which I haven't downloaded 
when I come to view something, it's showing me a red button, view online. So if I click this, it's going to actually go to YouTube and it's going to play me this video over YouTube. It's going to use data. It's going to cost me money. Whereas before, when I was connected to the digital library, I wasn't using data. So if I go back to week one, which we know we've downloaded, I've just demonstrated to you, and I can click on a video there. Good day, Great Tens. Welcome to this. There, it is green because this device, this file has already been downloaded to my device. So it's saving me data. So one of the important things around a digital library is, firstly, I'm allowed, to, I'm able to copy content off the digital library onto my device. And, and in doing so, it's going to save me substantial amounts of data. It allows me to take it home and it allows me to watch the resources offline. So if I go back to Mathematics Grade 10, I'm going to show you something slightly different now. We back connected to the digital library and we haven't downloaded a video in this week. And if I open the video, what I can do is I can play it directly off the device itself in this Windows version in the iOS I can't I have to download it but you can see it's giving me an option to download the video and I can download the video so as a teacher I could connect to the application download the videos I wanted to download take them to my classroom and play them to my class using a video projector or the students in my class could go and connect to a the to enable digital library download the resources for the week that they need to review onto their device and they could bring those devices to your class. So it's not even essential to have a digital library in your class. You can place it in the school where learners can go to as if they were going to a library to take out a book. They, instead of taking out a book, they would literally download the files that they needed for the week. So that is how the to enable digital library changes the functionality of the app. So in the app, we can deliver and you can access content entirely offline. And um, so for schools that have issues with access to the internet or low data rates, this is an ideal solution. The final thing is, and obviously in every week, is there is an assessment, and the assessment is read. And in order to take an assessment, you need access to the internet, because all of these assessments are online, are online assessments. So if I don't have internet access, I'll only have a green circle, and I'll show you exactly how that looks. So if I didn't have internet at my school, I would just have a green circle and I could go to any week. I do grade 10 again, functions, I can download, um, we can download that video, if that's a video. So very, very, very simple. And this is now completely offline. You'll notice here, I cannot take an assessment. I have no access to the internet. In this state, with the, with the to enable digital library not connected to the internet, it will not be able to update itself. So if we change, if we change these resources, you will not have those resources on your digital library. So if you connect your device to the internet, not only can you take assessments as users, you can also keep your digital library up to date, and that's very important. So I'm just going to return this back to the state it was in, which is switching both internet and hub on and that is the ideal state for you using a to enable mobile app in your classroom for teaching and learning. I hope that is of interest.